Today's Bible study is titled Another Gospel, Let Him Be Accursed. In Galatians 1 verses 6 to 7, Paul showed that preaching of another gospel among the Galatians was the problem and reason for his writing of the Galatian epistle. And we noted that this another gospel was a teaching that included a preaching law, in this instance, the Mosaic law via a kingdom and new covenant perspective, and acts associated with law such as circumcision, as somehow having a part in justification before or making them pleasing to God after salvation. It is your author's belief that those who troubled the Galatian, believers were kingdom gospel preachers and believers, either those who returned home to the Galatian region, after the Acts 2 Pentecost event or those who, left Jerusalem resulting from persecution that arose. Regardless, these were apparently living in or had come, into the Galatian region, and now, contrary to the Acts 15, a cord reached between the twelve Paul, taught Gentile, believers, that unless you were circumcised and kept the, law of Moses, you could not be saved. Regardless of the, identity of the sum per, there be some that trouble you, and would pervert the gospel of Christ, Paul now goes, on to show just how serious was such an attempt, to pervert the mystery gospel of grace. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any, other gospel unto you than that which we have, preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said, before, so say I now again, if any man preach any, other gospel unto you than that you have received, let him be accursed. Galatians 1 verses 8 to 9. Let's take a look more closely at the content of these verses. Paul had very stern pronouncement for those that were the source of such the teaching that did trouble the Galatian believers. And the word he uses to describe what should happen to those preaching to Gentiles this other gospel is not adequately conveyed in our modern English language. For he says that though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed, Galatians 1 verse 8. The Greek word translated accursed, in this instance was anathema, meaning to declare or devote to, destruction, which lines up with Webster's 1828 definition of, doomed to destruction. And Paul's use of this word to describe, what should happen to those that did trouble, the Galatian believers, is a very strong pronouncement, indeed. And just in case one might think Paul did not really mean, such a harsh judgment upon those that did trouble, the Galatian believers with another gospel, Paul repeats, himself saying, as we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that you have received, let him be accursed. Galatians 1 verse 9. So, he did not just pronounce this judgment upon these just once, but twice. Why such a pronouncement? One might ask, what does a little law hurt? In answer, later in the Galatian epistle Paul, asks the Galatians, O foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you, that you should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Jesus Christ, has been evidently set forth, crucified among you. This only would, I learn of you. Received you the Spirit by the works of the law, or by, the hearing of faith? Are you so foolish? Having begun in the Spirit, are you now made perfect, be thee the flesh? Galatians 3.1-3 so, in answer to what does a little law hurt one can readily see, that, in this dispensation of the grace of God, works of the, law equals works of the flesh and such would pervert the gospel of, Christ, Galatians 1 7, with pervert meaning to corrupt. Those to whom Paul refers as the some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ were Jewish kingdom gospel believers and preachers which had a reasonable expectation under God's new covenant with Israel that he would put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts, Jeremiah 31 verse 33, enabling them to obey. But the kingdom gospel had, by the time of Paul's writing of Galatians, been temporarily paused due to Israel's unwillingness to change their minds, repent, regarding Jesus the Messiah and thereby being concluded in unbelief with the Gentiles, Romans 11 verse 32 and the twelve, along with James the Lord's, half-brother, had previously reached an accord at the Jerusalem Council that the Jews would no longer trouble the Gentiles with gospel of the kingdom teaching, Acts 15 and Galatians 2, and associated requirements of circumcision and obedience to the Mosaic law. But evidently the kingdom gospel believers and preachers in the Galatian region either did not know or were not abiding by that Acts 15 accord. 
Believer, it really matters if you are part of a teaching that includes the law or even some type of church law regarding salvation or God-pleasing behavior. Take note of this, for if you seek to live by such, then you are inviting works of the flesh into your faith and doctrine and the entirety of Paul's epistle to the Galatians was to thwart such teaching. Read it for yourself, for in this dispensation of the grace of God, there is only one gospel and that is the gospel of the grace of God, Acts 20 24, which Paul was given to teach and preach to all, Jew Gentile, and in which there is no place for works of the flesh, Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9. Thank you for listening to this Bible study today.